Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for January 1, 2 and 3. A significant geomagnetic storm was recorded on the 28th of December. We did receive a K5 and K4 on the KP index, which indicates some significant activities on the solar corona. Unfortunately, due to a lack of imagery, I can't pinpoint the actual location of the storm itself, but it does appear that a significant earthquake, 6.8 in magnitude, is likely during the watch period. Seismic activities have calmed down the last 24 hours. We did receive some significant 6.6 .6 events uh, in and around the southern hemisphere and it appears that we may be moving into a period of time where a 6.8 plus event is less likely. The Space Weather Prediction Center is fairly quiet with its forecast. It is really expecting virtually nothing at all over the next three to four days which is surprising considering the sizable event that was recorded in the 28th of December. It's worth noting that we have a significant planetary alignment on January the 2nd and it may be the the main event. Now the main reason for this is the Venus Mercury Sun alignment but we've also got other celestial influence and we also have the perihelion which is occurring in the next day so it appears that the January 2 and 3 time frame we could be receiving a significant earthquake. Okay, I have the Hanaud XRT imagery from Solar Monitor up and what I'm looking at are several coronal holes that I will be targeting for this watch and there are two significant holes in the southern hemisphere and this appears to me uh, in the Easter Island region and I'll map this shortly and the northern hemisphere there is another hole which extends upwards from 19 to 21 degrees north latitude and I have a fair idea where this may be and I'll plot this also. I will focus on the southern hemisphere first and the first region would be underneath the Easter Island region or the southeast Pacific rise and the Easter Island region in and around looks to me to be in play so these will be the two main areas of focus during the watch period for the southern hemisphere there's also a strong likelihood that Vanuatu may receive another earthquake and the northern hemisphere now there are two areas that I've got my eye on that may be at risk the Babayuan Islands Philippines appears to be um, in a good position for this as it does sit on the 19 degree region and also Taiwan underneath Taiwan region so there appears that, that there may be a 6.8 earthquake um, in the northern hemisphere and this would appear to be the best locations for this event. There is also another area around the Mariana Islands and extending up to the Volcano Islands and the actual angle of this uh, feature does seem to fit and there's also another region that may be at risk. Okay I'm showing a dual shot here mainly to show the symmetry. This is the coronal hole that I'm looking at on the XRT image and what we could see is a fairly distinctive shape on this and it seems that it may fit with the Hawaii region so that's the angle that I'm looking at and those are the regions that seem to be in play for the northern hemisphere there may be an activation of the volcano in this region the, I think it's Kilauea and it may be um, at risk I'm not sure if it's on any high risk level at the moment but it appears that it may be reactivated um, it does appear that the danger area is 19 to 21 degrees Okay, that'll be my earthquake watch for today. Uh, keep an eye out for some brand new planetary alignment videos. I'll be making uh, a vast array of them for the year 2011 for anyone interested. And I do have another channel that I'll be putting some various um, items of interest, some uni universal knowledge, and lots of interesting things that may be of interest. So thanks for watching.